Hey, what is up Wolfpack and welcome back to another gold gun guide in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Today we're going to be taking a look at all four shotguns because I got all of them gold and got platinum camo for all of them. Now, I am doing all of this in one video because they are relatively very much the same and I highly recommend doing this right away while the 24-7 shoot house playlist is actually available. This is going to be your best bet for getting these guns gold, these shotguns specifically gold in the game as most of the maps are relatively large and you will not get many other shotgun chances besides in some of these smaller 6v6 maps. Now for starters I'm going to recommend you actually do some of the mission challenges that unlock you some shotgun blueprints if you haven't done any of those already because unlocking them will actually start you off usually with some pretty great attachments before you even level it up or unlock the weapon itself which will give you a much easier time when starting off using the weapon. Now as a general rule, I recommend using attachments that increase your sprint to fire speed, increase your damage range, tighten your spread, and increase movement speed so you can rush more with these shotguns. I will also say that the sleight of hand gun perk works great for reload kills, and for this challenge in specific, I usually just shoot off a couple shots every time I spawn in, and then I reload when I know I'm about to get into a confrontation. When it came to the hip fire kills challenge, I found this to actually be the most simplest of all of them because I actually found myself hip firing most of the time anyways and only really aiming with the 725 or on the rest of the shotguns when I actually needed the tightest spread and most range. Long shots are only needed on the 725 I believe, but for good reason because you can kind of snipe people with it when you aim down sights as it increases your damage range, though they did just nerf it. I can also recommend these slug rounds as well on the 725 because those will travel further and you can also use, the, I believe slug rounds are on pretty much all of these shotguns also. Keep in mind they are absolutely pitiful for hip firing so you can only use them when ADSing. Another challenge was getting point blank kills and that was especially easy if you sneak up on somebody or run right into them you can easily just hip fire them one and done with all of the shotguns. Crouch kills were kind of a difficult thing starting off, but it's best to be a little more passive when doing this, such as flanking or waiting around corners so you don't have to just crouch walk everywhere. Besides that, you can easily just crouch as soon as you see someone before you kill them. Most of these challenges should be relatively easy since you are playing on Shoot House. Now the most annoying challenge for me was probably the no attachment challenge, at least for some of the shotguns because it's back to bare bones with less range, slower reloading, so that part of to me was just pretty much grinding. Anyways, that's going to be it for all the tips I can offer on these shotguns guys. Outside of that, it's pretty much just stuff like headshots, on some of them at least, uh, normal kills, and getting the three gun streak like 25 or 30 times, which all those are relatively easy, just takes some time and effort. Hope you guys enjoyed and found this useful. If you did, be sure to drop a like and let me know what your favorite shotgun in the game is, especially after this patch, I suppose, since the 725 is nerfed in the comments below. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.